Good morning. Up nice and early today, making a flask because I'm going fishing. But I was up at 5.30 and I watched Doctor Who and the Daleks from 1965. Peter Cushing and Roy Castle. That certainly brought back some memories. There can't be many of my generation who, upon hearing the word Dalek, instantly use the words, or at least think of the words, exterminate, <laughs> exterminate, of course, in the Dalek voice. Right, I'm just gonna go upstairs now to capture some of the sunrise as it comes up over the far ridge of the valley. It's looking good already, but I think it will be very impressive in another 15 minutes or so. However, by then, I'll be on my way fishing. Before I do set off though, toast. I'm fishing, still cold, not as bad as it has been this week, but the towpaths are still iced over, like a sheet of glass really. And I saw a cyclist a couple of days ago, which I thought was bizarre really, cycling along the, the towpath at full speed. And I've just seen another one and he's gone over. And I'm not surprised really because it's ice. I think he probably hurt himself. He went with a right clatter. I thought he was going in the canal. At one stage I was ready to go and help him out, but he wasn't and he's on his way now, but probably very sore and, and bruised without doubt. The bit I'm fishing actually is under a bridge and there's no ice. <laughs> so I'm actually on stone, which is quite a novelty. The weather, as I say, is turning and what's happened is that the thousands of fish that were congregated in this area have largely gone. There's still one or few, one or two, a few there because I can see them, but in the main, they've moved out. So this is going to be a very tough session indeed. A second cyclist has just gone over on the ice. I've had two bites both minimal, no fish as of yet. There's been a mink on the far bank watching me for a prolonged period of time. There's a pipe, I have filmed it, not sure how well it will come out because the mink's quite dark, of course, into the pipe. But plenty of action around me, but none where it counts, which is the fish beneath the surface of the water. Now this is what you call a result. An update on the mink. I did figure out that it was waiting to come out the pipe. In fact, I showed someone walking past and he was amazed to see one. I'd see them all the while as an angler. And it dived and surfaced about 20 yards along the canal. It's mostly frozen and I've just seen it walk across the frozen canal and try to get up onto a boat that's moored along there. Imagine that on your boat and there's a mink trying to make its way around. Well that was certainly a challenge. <laughs> I did catch a few fish, not as many as the previous sessions though. I didn't use the term window of opportunity on the other trips that I've made to that particular spot, but I knew that it would be. I was only saying to someone passing by a couple of days ago, that once the ice started to melt and the weather started to improve, that those massive numbers of fish would disperse elsewhere along the canal. However, I'm glad that I caught, that will be my last session now on this basis of fishing under the bridge and catching the roach because we are due to see a, an upturn as far as the weather itself is concerned. So looking forward to pushing on and trying somewhere different and above all, catching fish. But the window of opportunity, that's a regular thing, isn't it? As far as fishing's concerned, not just in conditions like this, but throughout the year, I guess 
Life itself is a window of opportunity on many occasions that we have to make the most of.